Thanks for checking out my Unbounce review. Here I'm gonna quickly go over some of the best features that Unbounce has to offer, as well as talking about the pricing, pros and cons as I wrap up this Unbounce review. Now, if you haven't gotten to check them out, I highly recommend you use my link below. And simply because if you go through that, you'll get a nice little 20% off your first three months or 35% off your first full year, should you wanna upgrade. My way of saying thank you for watching this review. Without any further ado, let's dive right in. So if you've got your eyes on Unbounce, then clearly you are looking to create some simple and highly converting landing pages. Unbounce definitely has you covered here. As you can see, there's gonna be plenty of different page types that you can utilize when it comes to creating your landing pages, whether you wanna sort by industry or sort, whether it's by name or recent. I'm gonna quickly go through, and in my opinion, I love these as I've talked about in my tutorial. These are gonna be very plain. They're kinda of like skeletons, but they allow you to very easily kinda of copy and paste what you want in there, changing around font, adding text, adding videos, you name it. This could be for lead generation, and that's gonna be for a product launch, as you can see. I will say, I think it would be nice if Unbounce had many more templates that you could utilize. There are some there. I feel like there could be plenty more. After all, it is better to have more so that you can increase your options for what you're looking to do, but just kind of scrolling through so you can see some of them. And I think there's a nice little SAS one that's going to be, I might've passed it already. So allow me to pick one very quickly. Let's go right here. Let's go with Sassy. So here's an example one, say for software, you can choose a name for it. I'm just gonna call it Unbounce demo and let's do start with template and i'll see you in the drag and drop editor all right so it might look like there's a lot going on but ultimately it's pretty straightforward some of the basic things that you're going to see up top are going to be like copy paste duplicate and delete so if there's any time you want something that you just don't want there i'm going to start deleting some things so if it looks funny don't worry about it you can always click on backspace or just delete like that now the drag and drop editor is mostly gonna be on the left side. So if there's something that you say wanted to add in there, for example, let's scroll down. If we hover over here, we have sections, we have boxes, text, image, buttons. We have a light box button, form, embed video, as well as a custom HTML. So as an example, let's just say I was going to remove all of this section and everything in it. So I'm gonna delete this very quickly. And now we have plenty of space for a video embed. So let's just say with the drag and drop, what we can do is go over here, drag and drop right in the middle and allow me to get a video from YouTube that I can embed right here. All right, so I got the embed code just from a YouTube video. I'm gonna click on save. And just like that, we now have our video in there. So this is actually a true drag and drop editor. And what I mean by that is now that I have my video, I can drag and drop it anywhere I want. I've used many landing page builders where they kind of restrict you on a certain path. So this is gonna be centered. Maybe you could put it here. Maybe you could put it there or in the middle. And that's about it. If you wanna put it here, feel free to. You can put it wherever you want. And of course, if we wanted to make it bigger, just kind of like a picture, image, anything else, I'm just showcasing this just to kind of give you an idea of what it would look like when you're using the actual drag and drop editor. It's pretty straightforward. Look for something that you want, drag and drop it in a spot, add to it, delete it, you know, uh, double click to edit it, add your text, add your text, and so on and so forth. It's pretty straightforward. Let's delete that. Aside from that, what you can do is focus on your specific goals. As you can see with this one, get started is gonna be one of the most important aspects. So what we can do, we can click on this. We can also click on the specific properties and what we do with it. For example, right now it's saying go to URL. It's gonna to go to a specific block, but let's just say we wanted to change this. Like it would be like, for example, I'm just gonna put unbounce here and we wanna open this up in a new tab or window. Now, what we can do here is go to goals, and this is something that's gonna be very, very helpful here. So let's just say this wasn't a lead gen form. This was just gonna be for arriving on a page and clicking on a specific button. For example, right here, we can track this as a goal. So what makes Unbounce so helpful is that when you start sending traffic to it, it's gonna showcase how many visitors landed on your page and how many specifically accomplished this goal of clicking on this link. That's where you can start really tracking what's gonna be converting, who is actually going to your landing page, are they entering their email, are they clicking on a button, are they entering a form? That's really where Unbounce can shine in terms of optimizing for those conversions that you really want. And if you're also looking for more conversions, pop-ups and sticky bars are going to be your go-to. These are also extra features that you can utilize after creating your landing page. As an example, a pop-up right here. Let's say I was at a landing page and I was about to exit. If I move my mouse up here, a pop-up will show up here and you can pretty much change it to whatever you want. Maybe you want someone to opt in. Maybe you want to give someone an instant discount like this. Maybe we want to give away a free ebook. Whatever it's going to be, it's really up to you how you want to change it. It's just another great way of increasing your conversions. And the same thing applies with sticky bars right here. 
Similar to a pop-up bar, these are gonna be something that stick up at the top right here and there's gonna be a specific call to action. So it's a great way to direct more attention to your main focus. Once again, it could be an ebook, could be a discount, could be a VIP gift, whatever it's going to be. All these sticky bars and pop-ups really go hand in hand when it comes to creating landing pages that can convert. Speaking of that, let's go back to the original landing page that we just created as an example. And keep in mind, some of the features are going to depend on the plan that you pick, but one great feature also that comes along with Unbounce is going to be the ability to split test your landing pages. All you have to simply do is create another variant up here. And what you can do is say social media publishing without vanity metrics. Uh, let's just say social media with only results. Okay, let's say we wanted to split test that. What I can do is save it. I can republish it. I can go back to editing it. And as you can see, if we scroll down, we had recently published this. What we can do is change the weight of this. So this first one is going to get 50% of your traffic. This other one's gonna get 50% as well. Now what we can do is just click on republish. All right, and now that we're back to the page statistics, if we scroll down, we can now see that we have an A-B test where the first one's gonna get 50% of the traffic, the other one's gonna get 50% as well. Simply by doing that, it's gonna get the visitors and the views, and most importantly, the conversions that we set. So as it goes on, it's gonna be very easy to say which one is going to be better, and so on and so forth. Is this getting more conversions? Is this one doing better? Should we turn it off? Obviously, you wanna send ample amount of traffic, and that's not exactly a tutorial for their A-B testing, just kind of giving you an overview of what you can do when it comes to their A-B testing in the first place. All right, and here's just a quick look at the unbounced pricing. Keep in mind this can change and it will change if you use my link in the description as you'll get a nice little discount, which I will talk about. But normally, build in the beginning is gonna be 99 a month, experiment's gonna be 149 a month, optimize 249, and agency, you just have to talk. So as I did also talk about previously, unlimited A-B testing will be with the experiment pricing plan. All right, so let's wrap up this Unbounce review. At the end of the day, Unbounce is built for one thing, getting you conversions. And that's exactly what you need when crafting landing pages, running paid ads, or simply trying to stop visitors from ghosting your offers. With its drag and drop builder, you're not stuck battling code or clunky editors, because let's be real, the only thing worse than a slow loading landing page is a page that doesn't convert. Plus, the pop-ups and sticky bars are an underrated power move, keeping your offers front and center without being annoying. And if you're not A-B testing your pages, you're basically leaving leads and sales on the table. So good thing Unbounce makes it easy to test what actually works. Now, it's not all sunshine and record-breaking conversion rates here. A few more landing page templates wouldn't hurt, especially if you don't want to start from scratch. And while their pricing can be similar to software tools that do more, say like adding sales funnels or an all-in-one platform, what Unbounce does, it does exceptionally well, giving you a streamlined, conversion-focused solution without the fluff. And like I said, with my discount code in the description, you can actually get a nice little discount for the first three months. Let me show you. And here's going to be the new pricing for the first three months. As you can see here, build is only going to be $79 a month for the first three months, experiment $119, and of course, optimize $199. Should you want to pay yearly, you can just get 35% off instead, and that's going to be quite the discount when it comes to using Unbounce. Bottom line, if you're a conversion-driven marketer who knows that a well-optimized landing page can mean the difference between crickets and commissions, Unbounce just might be your perfect match. And that's going to conclude my Unbounce review. I want to say thank you so much for checking it out. And of course, if you haven't gotten to dive into it, be sure to use my discount link down below, where not only can you get that free trial, but 20% off your first three months or 35% off your first full year. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy Unbounce.